Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to store and trade your cryptocurrency anywhere you go by using the Ledger Live mobile app. So let's get started. All right, so Ledger Live has a desktop version and a mobile version, iOS or Android version. And this works really well when you're out and about. So you don't need to have the device connected to your computer at all to use it with the mobile app. It uses Bluetooth to communicate with the app. Now, a lot of people think this is insecure um, it's not really as insecure as people think because it never transmits the private key across Bluetooth. What gets transmitted is the transaction request. That transaction request gets transferred to the device and then the device signs the transaction internally using that private key. And then what gets sent back to the app is the signed transaction. Okay, so your private key is always stored safely and securely on this device. And you can store your cryptocurrency on this device and it's never exposed to the internet, right? The private key is always kept private and on the device. And that's cool. You could, uh, when this first came out, uh, it was pretty useful, but it's become more useful lately because there are cryptocurrency trading apps available that are also mobile. So if you're out and about and you notice the price of Bitcoin is surging and you wanna make a trade, then you can use mobile apps for your trading in conjunction with this Ledger Nano X. So I'll start with the Ledger Live app here. We can launch that and we can look at our portfolio. And then down at the bottom there, we've got accounts and we can see our separate accounts. And then uh, we also have transfer, which allows us to send and receive crypto, right? And then we've got a manager uh, for the devices that we've uh, set up in here. Now, if you haven't set up your Ledger Nano X in the mobile app yet, I've got some great setup videos. So once you get that set up and connected, you can do this type of transfer. And then also down at the bottom right, you've got your settings where you can adjust everything. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to roll over and get the Coinbase Pro app. I haven't got that one yet. And I want to show you how you can trade mobile with the Coinbase app, but not have to store your precious cryptocurrency on an exchange, right? You've got your precious cryptocurrency stored on your device private keys safe. All right, so I'm going to head over to the Apple Store. I'm just going to search for Coinbase Pro. All right, there's the new Coinbase Pro app. I'll get that downloaded. All right, we'll launch that. Now, uh, I'm going to get myself signed in here. I already have an account. If you don't have a Coinbase Pro account, you can sign up mobile or desktop, whichever uh, is easier for you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, I have one password, which manages my passwords on my phone, which makes life much easier. But uh, of course, you can just uh, type in this information too, from wherever you have it stored, in your head or on a paper. All right, I'll get myself signed in. And it wants my two-step verification. So I'm just going to slide over to my Google Authenticator. Right? And I just got, it's my Coinbase account. So Coinbase and Coinbase Pro use the same Google Authenticator code. I'm just going to tap that, copy it into my clipboard, slide back over here, and paste that guy in. All right, and I'll hit Confirm. And that gets me signed into my account. All right. So let's just assume maybe I'm over at a friend's house or a relative's house. And uh, I check my portfolio from my phone and I see that Bitcoin has just made a big move. Right. And so I have some Bitcoin stored on my ledger, which I would like to trade. All right. 
All right, so as you can see, my Bitcoin is empty here. So I'm just gonna tap Bitcoin and I wanna deposit, right? I'm gonna deposit some Bitcoin into my Coinbase Pro account. So I'll hit deposit. Now I could bring these over from my coinbase.com account, but uh, I'm actually going to deposit it from a crypto address, my own. All right, and make sure you're only sending Bitcoin to this address. All right, and there's the Bitcoin address of my Coinbase Pro account. So I'm just gonna copy that into my clipboard, right? And then I'm gonna slide back over to my Ledger Live app. All right, now I've got a little bit of Bitcoin. Uh, this is just a demo, so I'm not uh, making huge trades here. It's not a whale trade. I'm just giving you the mechanics, right? So we've got a Bitcoin account that's got about $36 worth of Bitcoin in it, and I wanna send it. I'm gonna hit send, and then I'm gonna tap and tap paste to uh, enter that Bitcoin address of my Coinbase Pro account. We'll hit continue. Right, and how much do I want to send? I'm just going to send the max. There's a little toggle switch down there at the bottom. But if you had, you know, two or three Bitcoin in here, uh, you might want to just uh, send less than the full amount. That's entirely up to you. You can just tap in the field and edit how much Bitcoin you want to send. I'm going to hit continue here. And I'm going to hit continue again. And I want to use my Ledger Nano X, right? And I have my Ledger Nano X here in my hand. And uh, I want to turn it on. All right, when you're out and about, you just hit this uh, button on the end here. Hold it in for a second or two. Got it upside down. And then I'm going to enter my PIN. All right, and once I've entered the PIN, you can see I'm at the home screen. And like I said, we're not connected to the computer. We're uh, doing this all via Bluetooth. So I'll go ahead and tap uh, Ledger Nano X on my phone, right? All right, and it's waiting for a connection. It sees my device, and now it wants me to open the Bitcoin app. So I'm on top of the Bitcoin app as it stands. You can see the Bitcoin app is highlighted, and it says Bitcoin down at the bottom, right? So I'm gonna hit both buttons here. That's gonna get me into the Bitcoin app, All right? Now it tells me the application is ready. It's waiting for a connection. And then you'll notice that my phone uh, response, right? So now the phone is giving me the information about the transaction and I can see it on my screen of my device. So uh, the first thing I want to do is review that. There's a little arrow here that indicates I should uh, tap this button to go to the next screen. There's the amount of Bitcoin I'm sending, right? There's the address I'm sending to. That's my Coinbase Pro account Bitcoin address. There's the fees I'm gonna occur on the Bitcoin blockchain network. And then I'm gonna tap both buttons to accept and send. And now it's ready. And then you can see that my phone is indicating that the transaction was sent. Now that I've sent this Bitcoin to my exchange, I can trade. So I'm gonna close this out. I can pull down here, slide my finger downward to pull down, and that refreshes, right? You can see that the Bitcoin has gone out. So let's go back over to the Coinbase Pro app, and we'll keep an eye on our Bitcoin, right? I'm going to go over here to the portfolio, and I'm just going to keep an eye on the Bitcoin. Okay, and so we can see here that the Bitcoin has arrived in my portfolio. So... It did take a few minutes, so if you're visiting relatives or whatever, spend some quality time with your Aunt Clara, have another piece of pie, talk to your cousin, and just be patient, right? It's not going to happen instantaneously, but it didn't take that long, eh, about five minutes. All right, so uh, let's go over to our trading, right? And now we want to make a trade. All right, so there's an icon down there in the bottom left. Uh, the two bars, that's uh, for market. And so we want to trade some Bitcoin. So we're going to tap the BTC USD trading pair at the top. And I want to sell my Bitcoin, right? So you can see there, I have a balance of Bitcoin. And I'm going to hit sell. 
Now, uh, there's some adjustments you can make here. I'm not a big trading guy. I'm just showing you the mechanics. So up there where it says limit, I'm going to tap that and change this to market. I want this to just go ahead and execute right away. I don't care what the price is, really. It doesn't make that big of a difference to me. But you may be a little more of a savvy trader than I am, and you might use other features of this app. I'm just going to do a market order. So I can tap max down there. That's the amount of Bitcoin that I'm uh, going to sell. The total that's in my Bitcoin account. I'll hit preview order. And then I'm going to place that sell order. And there we go. All right. So I placed that sell order. We can go back over here to the top level. And then I'm just going to go back over to the little clock there. And you can see now that I have US dollar in here. So uh, depending on what your intentions are, right? If you wanted to just cash out, you've got it as you've got that Bitcoin now as US dollars, we can tap US dollar and do a withdrawal, right? And we can take that money and put it in our bank account directly, right? And then spend it. Not too, not too difficult, right? Pretty cool. All right, but there's also another cool thing we can do with that US dollar. Let's go back over to trading. This time I'm gonna do US dollar coin. Like I said, I'm not a huge trader. I can't really figure out how to convert my US dollar to uh, US dollar coin. So I'm just going to buy the Bitcoin back. Okay, so I've got it back as Bitcoin. Now, uh, I'm just playing around here. So you may, uh, if you wanted to uh, convert your Bitcoin to US dollar coin directly, then you probably wouldn't have sold it for US dollars in the first place, right? You would instead sell it for US dollar coin. So let's do that. Let's go back over here. US dollar coin, right? And there's that trading pair. So we're going to go to BTC uh, US dollar. Right, and I've got some BTC. I'm gonna sell that BTC. Let's take it over to market. Let's hit max, and we'll preview the order, and we'll place the sell order. Happens right away. And now we can go back over here. All right, and then I'm gonna go back down to the little clock icon down at the bottom there, and I can see that I have US dollar coin in my trading account. So. Uh, if you were going to cash out, you would sell your Bitcoin for U.S. dollar, right? If you wanted to convert to stable coin, then you could con instead sell your Bitcoin for U.S. dollar coin. Now, here's the cool thing. I'm not going to keep this U.S. dollar coin stored on my exchange. I'm going to put it in my own wallet because U.S. dollar coin is an ERC-20 token. So uh, let's go to U.S. dollar coin and hit withdraw. And we're going to withdraw to a crypto address, right? Now, it wants the address, so let's go back over to our Ledger Live once again. And we're going to go down here to Tokens. And you can see that I have US dollar token in here already. If you don't, you can easily add that uh, in your ERC20 tokens in your Ethereum wallet, right? And I'm just going to tap that, and I want to do a receive. And then I'm going to choose the Ledger Nano X again. All right, now that I've entered the PIN, I'm at the home screen, and uh, my phone recognizes that the device is active. All right, and it's asking me to enter the Ethereum app, right? Because Ethereum is where we manage our ERC-20 tokens, and US Dollar Coin is an ERC-20 token. So I'm going to tap both buttons to enter the Ethereum app. All right, and then once I've done that, my phone should recognize... that I have done that, right? I'm gonna hit continue, right? And there's the address of my US Tether. So I'm gonna verify that on my device just to make sure that no one is trying to scam me. This is a fail safe, right? We're gonna make sure those addresses match, right? And then we'll go to approve. All right, and then I'm done on the device. Now I'm going to copy that address into my clipboard, right? We're gonna slide back over to Coinbase Pro. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I kind of lost what I was doing, but that's okay. I've got the uh, address in my clipboard. Let's go back over to US dollar coin, hit withdraw, crypto address, and then we'll enter the wallet address. I'm just gonna tap and paste, and there we go. I'm gonna hit done. All right, it tells me that's a valid US dollar coin address, that's cool. I'm gonna tap there an amount. I would like to send it all if I could. But uh, it doesn't seem to have a max, so I'm just going to hit 35. All right. And then I'm going to hit withdraw US dollar coin. And then it wants my two factor authentication. So we'll go back over to Google Authenticator. All right, there's my Coinbase code. Uh, it's getting close to the end, so I'm just going to let it time out and regenerate a new code. Give myself a few more seconds. I'm going to tap on that code to copy it into my clipboard. I'm going to slide back over to Coinbase Pro. I'm going to tap. Oops. And can it paste? There we go. Good. And then we'll hit confirm. And boom, my withdrawal is complete. All right. I'm back down to the original balance. So what I did was I was mobile, right? I wasn't at home. I wasn't in front of my computer. I wanted to make a trade. I used my Ledger Live mobile app to deposit some Bitcoin into my Coinbase Pro account using their mobile app. And then I made a trade, right? So I could have cashed out and then withdrew to my own bank account, or I could have just traded that Bitcoin for US dollar coin, stable coin, and then withdrew the stable coin back to my own wallet. All right, let's go back over to Ledger Live and just keep an eye on incoming transactions and we should see that US dollar coin come into our Ledger app. Okay, and there you can see that the uh, US dollar coin has arrived in my portfolio. So we can go over to accounts and uh, in my Ethereum, wallet there. I've got uh, about 15 ERC20 tokens. I can just tap that to pull them down. And then we'll go down here to US dollar coin. So now that uh, stable coin is safely stored in my own wallet where I control the private key. So this is really exciting. Uh, you can uh, carry around your ledger device with you and uh, trade Bitcoin whenever you feel like it, right? All from your phone. Now, keep in mind, uh, this process would work just as easily with any of the other cryptocurrencies that I have on this phone, right? So if I wanted to sell some Ethereum, I could do the same thing. Just transfer the Ethereum over to my Coinbase Pro account, make a trade, cash out, or convert to stablecoin, and then store the stablecoin back in my Ledger Nano device, right? So pretty cool. All right, and there we are in all our glory. So if you guys have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered on the fly. A good time will be had for all. Please join me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.